Hey guys, welcome to another video of Microsoft Office Tutorials. In this video, we are going to discuss how we can compare two data sets in Microsoft Excel. Or indirectly, if we say how we can find out duplicate rows in two data sets in Microsoft Excel. We will also uh, discuss how we can highlight duplicate rows in Microsoft Excel. So here we have two data sets. The first table or the first data set that we have here is sales data that is exported from system. The second file or the second table that we have here, this is also same sales data, but is but this is not exported from system. This is sales data as per my personal Excel file. So now my manager is asking me to send him this sales data. But before I send this data to my manager, I make I want to make sure that either this both record in card as per system and in card is my ex, as per my Excel file is same. For example, I uh, for this order first order I want to make sure that for this order number customer name sales month and sales amount is everything is same as per system and as per my excel file so how i can compare this these two data sets in microsoft excel the method that we will use here to compare these two data sets is count ifs function so we will write here count ifs function we also have complete tutorial on count ifs function i will give link in description section so that if anybody want to watch that tutorial can directly watch from there so now we need to insert arguments inside this count ifs function. We have we need two types of arguments that we need to insert inside this function. First type of argument is criteria and second type is relevant criteria range. Here for all rows we have four criteria. First criteria is order number, then customer name, then uh, sale month, then at last sale amount. And then uh, we also need to insert here relevant criteria ranges with which we want to compare all of our criteria. So let's start inserting criteria uh, arguments inside this count ifs function. So first argument that we need to insert is criteria range one. As our first criteria is order number, so relevant criteria range with which we want to compare our first criteria is this complete list of order numbers in first table. So we will select this complete list and then we will insert comma. Next thing criteria one, we will select criteria one again insert comma. The next argument criteria range 2 as our second criteria is customer name so relevant criteria range 2 is complete list of these customers so we will select this complete list we will insert comma next thing is criteria 2 now we will select this criteria to again insert comma criteria range 3 as our third criteria is sales month so we will select here this complete list of this sales month in first table with which we want to compare our third criteria Again insert comma and select third criteria, insert comma, now criteria range 4. As our fourth criteria is sale amount, the relevant criteria range is this all sale amounts in first column. So we will select this, insert comma and then again in, we will select this criteria 4 as the last argument that we need here is criteria 4. So we have been selected, we will close bracket, we will press enter, and you can see answer is 1. The one thing that you need to make sure is that, that you lock all criteria ranges in count uh, some in count ifs function so that when we will extend our this count ifs function down these criteria ranges don't change so now we will extend this down and here you can see most of the answers of count ifs function is one wherever answer is one means all these rows are duplicate or if we say in other words count ifs function found all these rows same as it is in first table but wherever answer will be zero means those rows are not duplicate. Just let me insert here filter so that we bring all zero values up. Now next thing that we need to learn here is that how we can highlight duplicate rows. For this we will just copy this formula and then we will select this complete table in which we want to highlight duplicate rows. Then we need to go to home tab in home tab we need to go to conditional formatting new rule and then use formula to determine which cells to format then we will paste here formula then wherever now wherever this formula will be true those values will be highlighted now as we want to highlight only duplicate rows or indirectly if we say only we want to highlight only those rows for which count ifs answer answer of count ifs function is greater than zero or equal to one so what we will do we will insert here greater than zero we will also lock our this column numbers so I have been logged here I, J, K and L column. Then we will format cells that we want to format. 
so maybe we will select yellow color then we will go for ok and again go for ok and here you can see all those rows that are duplicate or highlighted or we can also see here that for all those these rows the answer of count ifs function is equal to 1 that means all these rows are duplicate and here above these two rows that answer for these two rows is 0 means these are not duplicate so friends that's all for this tutorial if you like this video please don't forget to give thumbs up don't forget to subscribe our channel and press bell icon button and also share this knowledge with your friends if you don't understand anything regarding this tutorial please mention in below comment section i will answer all of your questions and at last thanks for watching